Hey dear fashion bosses, how are you doing today? So take note of this style, okay? Because this is what we are working on, all right? So my name remains Faith Abraham, Creative Director of Fashion Boss Innovations Academy, all right? So in today's class, we're learning how to make this extremely trending bubble, pleated shoulder with cow, a pleated shoulder cow bubble with a high neck collar and a slit in front. All of these are what actually makes this dress, okay? This bubble or this caftan, whatever you want to call it. All right, so if this is what you like to learn, please stay to the end of this video. I also have pockets in this cow bubble. Hey, guys, you don't want to know, okay? So if this is your first time on this channel, we'll say, hey, welcome. You are actually on the right channel. And if you are a a subscriber, we say thank you. Do not forget to subscribe, all right? Do not forget to subscribe, okay? So like I, I mentioned earlier in today's class, we're learning how to make this, okay? We're learning how to make this. All right, so um, already giving you the name of the bubble, what it looks like. This is it. Is The tutorial is extremely very detailed, okay? It's what you like to learn and replicate, okay? So do not forget to hit on the subscribe button. So we have two of it, two different clients place an order for it. It also has a pocket. You can see the plates, you know, on the shoulder that extended up to, you know, about the knee area. Okay. One of it is actually has um, inner and the other does not have. Okay. So we'll go straight to the cutting table right now. Do not forget to subscribe. So I usually fold my fabric already, the length of the fabric, fold it into two and then fold it to get four. So I measure my shoulder length. So we have four of the fabric. You know how we used to fold for bubu now or caftans. So I measure my neck, my shoulder line, and then from my shoulder line, I'm going to measure a five inches. So that's five inches is what we are going to use to make the pleats on the shoulder. So you measure your shoulder divided by two and then from the point where you have your shoulder you measure or you mark another five inches okay that is where we are going to pick the plates for the shoulder all right hope you understand what i just said so you take your shoulder measurement divided by two minus 60 divided by two eight and then from there you take another five inches and then from the five inches you measure your sleeve okay hope you understand you measure your sleeve from the five inches so i take my neck um line i'm using a 3.5 inches for the neck line for the neck width for the back width i'm using a 1.5 and then for the front i'm going to be using about uh, nine inches for the front but we're going to yes nine inches for the front okay so we're using nine inches for the front neckline and this is what i'm measuring out right now okay all right because it's going to be a v neckline so i connect from the neck weight down to the nine to the eight inches rather i have in front for the front neckline okay so the front neckline is eight inches the back neckline is 1.5 inches and then the width are three inches 3.5 okay so from there now the next thing for us to do is to measure our from shoulder to the hip line okay so i have it measured i'm trying to be careful you know it's white lace i don't want it to have too many chalk so if you're not seeing the line properly i'm sorry about it is because i don't want it to be stained so i measure from the shoulder to the nail also so we have our hip line measurement we also have a nail line measurement hope you understand that so i'm going to connect it with a straight row from your shoulder to your hip and then from your shoulder to your nail okay so I'm connecting this right now with a straight rule, all right? Hope you've understood thus far what we've said. Mm? Okay, so from the shoulder right now, I'm going to measure the sleeve, okay? So the sleeve, because it's not, the sleeve is actually a fitted sleeve. It's not like the booboo kind of sleeve. 
So I divided the um the the client sleeve circumference by two. So whatever you have, you just add one or two inches to it, and then you mark, you connect. Okay, that's what I did for the sleeve so that it is fitted and not looking um too bogus like the bubble. So from the nail line right now, I'm going to come up by four inches. All right, I came up by four inches from your nail line. You're coming up by four inches, and then I'm going to connect this right now with a straight roll, okay? I connected it with a straight roll. So on the hip line right now, I'm going to impute my hip circumference or the client's hip circumference, of course. I can actually refer to it as mine. So the, my hip circumference divided by four. I impute it and I'm going to go ahead to add about about five inches for ease okay so these five inches contain both the seam allowance and the ease allowance so whatever I have on the hip line I'm going to bring it down to our new nail line okay hope you understand that okay so for instance if the hip is 10 40 divided by 10 you have 10 divided by 4 you have 10 plus 5 that's 15 okay so um, I came in by two inches, you know, on the um, sleeve area, okay, so that I can do a bit of curve around there and then connect into my nail line, okay? Do a bit of arm -o, arm o curve, just a slight curve, okay? And then I'll connect it with a curve, you know, how we do a cow bubble curve. We connect it with a curve into the nail line. Now, the nail line, I mean, it is the new nail line, okay? Not the previous one. So, I just um, try to do a free hand curve, of course. A free hand curve. Curve it this way neatly, okay? And curve it into your nail line, okay? So, if you watch up to this point, do not forget to subscribe, like, share this video, and give it a thumbs up, all right? And do not forget to ask questions. If you have any confusion, you know, I will always attend to your concerns. Right. So, I pull the fabric upward a little because the table is not as wide or long as the fabric. So, whatever we have on our hip line, our nail line, I also brought it down to the length of the booboo -boo, okay so i'm going to connect it with a straight line right now okay so the length of the bubble and so guys we're basically done almost done okay not totally done but almost done with this drafting all right so i'm just going to go ahead to cut off what i have at this point i cut from the hem of the bubble you know taking me into the curvy area which of course represents you know the cow effects you know on the bubble and then i keep cutting it will take me into the arm o area then the sleeve area and then i just cut it out i'm sorry private trading get to see those part properly i'm sorry that's why i'm trying to explain very very well okay so i just connect cut into the cow area and then into the sleeve area okay and then we'll continue Alright, so have you subscribed yet? If you've not, kindly hit on the subscription button, right? And don't forget to hit on the bell. The bell enables you to get notification each and every time we drop new videos, which of course we always do two times in a week, sometimes more than two times in a week. Here on this channel, we upload sewing tutorials and hardware tutorials. Hairway tutorials such as fascinators, turban, auto gilly, hats making, headband and everything you can adorn your hair with or your head with okay so after cutting out that part we're just going to pull out the inner part of the bubble which represents the back panel okay we're just going to pull that out and arrange it properly because we need to work on the front panel okay we are basically done with the back panel so we pull the back out and then arrange it to get the front prop the front panel properly arranged like you can see me do right now on this video so you make sure you make sure that your lines your aligns properly your neckline align properly your 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 notches if at all there are any they are properly aligned okay 
can see me arrange and even trying to pin at some point to get a perfect you know arrangement and then also have it pin so whatever i have arranged stays in place for me okay you know how those things can be right oh jeez so do not forget to follow us on our social media and on Instagram is at Fashion Boss. On Facebook is at Fashion Boss Innovations. We also have a Facebook group where you can drop your assignments, your practical, and all of that. It's at Fashion Boss Innovations Academy. We are also on Pinterest at Fashion Boss and TikTok at Fashion Boss. Okay. Do not forget, forget to follow us on all of our social media and uh, so we are properly arranged we've properly arranged our bubble now so we come back to to uh the neckline okay the front neckline don't forget what we had is eight inches so i come to that eight inches where the eight inches stop and then i come in by one inch Okay, I come out by one inch. I just measure one inch. Okay, so that one inch we are going to connect from your sh from the shoulder line now. Okay, which is from the um, neck width connects into. So I'm going ahead right now to mark two inches. Okay, because we are going to cut this part out and replace it with somewhat like a collar. You know, from the back neck line into the front is like a collar it has a high neck collar so i connect from the neckline the width neckline which is 3.5 into where we have the one inch and then from the one inch we're going to connect into these two inches that we have marked out okay so i'm just going to use my ruler because my ruler is already two inches to mark this properly because we are cutting this part out okay I just do a straight line with my two inches ruler instead of using the tape roll and then we are just going to cut it out all right so i'm still on this guys trying to roll my two inches properly on the front panel So after doing this, we're just going to cut it out, okay? Please note that you're cutting on the two inches line you just rolled, all right? So you cut it into your V neckline and then into your width neckline, okay? So this shouldn't be a new process because we have a lot of video on this channel where we've done things like this over and over and over and over and over and over again and again okay so i just notch the new line that is where i would want my slits to get to so i just did a notch there so we don't miss it okay So I've cut this out right. So we are going to replace this part of cut out with another fabric, the same lace, okay? You can actually use an ashoke or any other kind of fabric you deem fit for the um, garments, right? But for the benefit of this class, we are using the same lace fabric because that is what the client wants. So I bring my roller and I roll my shoulder line properly to get a straight roll okay i just roll my shoulder line because at this point we are going to pick our pleats you know the pleats on the shoulder we are going to pick all right so i have to roll my shoulder line properly so there won't be any form of mistake or wobbling or something okay so i open it up this way I'm trying to arrange it properly. So 
So I roll my shoulder line again because I've turned it to the right part of the fabric right now because the plate is going to sit on the right part of the fabric, okay? So I roll a straight line and then I'm going to take my shoulder measurement. So do not forget to have cut out a part of the shoulder. So I put out a part of the shoulder with cut out out. You can see the tape roll. It was three in 3.5 inches width. I put it out to get my shoulder uh, measurement properly. And then after I get my shoulder measurement properly, I measure out that five inches we measured initially. Okay. I measured it. I divided by two to get the midpoint, which is 2.5. Okay. To get a midpoint. So on that midpoint, I just pick it up like as you can see me do right now to get our plates. So it invariably means that your plate is going to be measuring 2.5 inches. Okay. Hope you understand. You get the drill, right? So your, your plate is going to be measuring 2.5 inches because what we left was 5 inches. We located the midpoint divided by 2 and locate the midpoint. So you are picking exactly on that midpoint, you know. So your plate should be 2.5 inches that's what we are having right now so i pin it on the bottom like you can see me illustrate right now this is 2.5 inches hope you understand that so if you do not understand at this point go over, the, go over the video go over the video keep going over it you will definitely understand okay so i just continue picking my pleats this way okay i just continue picking my pleats this way the plate is going to be ending somewhere around the nail line, which of course is where the cow effect ends. So as you are going down the 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 fabric or the bubble, the measurement of the plate reduces. Okay, it reduces. So when you get to where the cow effect ends, a lap, which we, which of course is where the plate is going to get to, the plate has drastically reduced it is no longer 2.5 inches but something around 0 0.5 or 0 0.75 okay but in some other styles whatever you have on the shoulder is what you are going to pick till you get to the end but in this style it is not like that please kindly take notes okay so I pick to the left and I pick to the right. What it means is that when I pick to the left, it falls on the back panel. When I pick to the right, it, it falls on the front panel because the plate is going to be, you see, you see where the cow effect end, that is where your plate also end. And if you can see, it's looking very reduced. We're having about 7.5 inches, 0 0.75 inch around where the plate ends. Okay, so please take notes like i told you that this video is very detailed please take notes of this little little details okay so after doing that you are going to take it to your sewing machine and then you sew okay so whatever we did on this side you know is on both shoulders i'm bringing it back here right now on the other shoulder to replicate it hope you understand So I just draw a straight roll on my shoulder line, which of course is what we did on the other one. I just measure my sh um, shoulder measurements again, taking out the 3.5 inches we have cut out as the neckline and then getting the accurate shoulder measurements. And then I do my five inches for the pleats. I locate the mid part of the pleats and then I pick, okay? So I believe I've explained enough. You can see me pinning, okay? Just trying to make it further as well. I had to fast forward it because I believe I have done justice to it when I explained on the other part. But you can still keep watching. It's still very, very understandable even at this pace, okay? So I pick to the front side. I'm picking to the back side right now. So all plates ends around the nail area, which of course is where the cow effects end. So after doing that, take it to your sewing machine and you sew like I'm illustrating on the bottom part that way, okay? So I'm done sewing and this is what we have. You can see the plate is looking all beautiful, guys. 
you can see it's looking all beautiful already okay so I turn it inside out and then I'm going to sew from the um, sleeve into the side you know and down to the M okay using my arm circumference as my measurement for the sleeve because it's fitted okay so i do the same to the on other side so i'm done sewing a uh, bobo is standing right now what is left at this point is the front collar that we connect from the back neckline into the front okay so if you've watched up to this point and you've not subscribed i want to say you're not being fair to us the least you can do is just a hit on the subscription button and get subscribed okay it wouldn't cost you a thing it's just your only two way of saying thank you fashion boss for all you're doing for us on this channel so we look forward to you subscribing thank you so i'm just trying to arrange the bubble right now to get my front line my center front properly arranged because we want to measure from the neck back neck line okay into the front as you can see me arranged okay we are measuring from the back neck line okay after arranging it this way so you measure the totality of what you have right now from the back neck line the center back <coughs> excuse me So I measure from the center back, okay, because it's on fold. I keep measuring to get the number of length or inches of what we have, you know, in the front. I'm going to measure to the hem of the bubble. So I continue measuring after measuring I have about six to nine inches so I pick up pieces I'm going to use as the collar okay so I have about 69 inches I just made it 70 and then I have it in two so I'm joining that together okay so it gives me one piece so the width for this is actually six inches okay six inches so i have 69 i made it 70 so 70 in two places you should be having about 140 inches but you are going to make it in one piece i have to join okay i have to do a lot of joining to get the 140 inches right so as you can see me, I'm trying to locate the midpoint of this um, lengthy fabric right now. So I've been able to locate the midpoint. I just come to my booboo again. We need to do a certain measurements right about now. So I arrange it properly. I'm trying to notch the midpoint the center back the midpoint of the center back so we are accurate so i'm going to measure from my shoulder i measure from my shoulder so where i have my eight inches my v neckline eight inches i did a marking there then i come to center back and then i measure the totality of what i have from the center back up to the point where i did the eight inches you can see me measuring it right now up to the point that is where your initial your original neckline was okay and that is where it will still be so i measure from the center back door on fold okay into where my eight inches v neckline is originally so i have about 14 inches in total okay so i come to the end of the of the garment I'm going to measure from the bottom part to the point where 
I'm trying to locate where I had a notch initially, which is, of course, the nail area. So I'm going to measure from the hem to the knee area. So now at this point, you can choose to have your slits end wherever you them fit or you, you, you desired, okay? So I actually wanted this for the client's sake to end at the nail point. So I measured what I have there. So I'm, because I'm going to bring that measurement into the scholar right now, okay? So for the midpoint of this um, piece, I'm going to measure 14 inches, which represents the neckline, okay? And I'm going to mark 14 inches, and then I'm going to mark. And then I'm going to come to the bottom part of the string. I'm going to measure, I think about 18 inches from the, um, from the bottom of the string, which is, of course, is from the bottom of the bubble to the point where I want my slit to reach to get to and then I'm going to mark okay so that is the point where I want my my okay so I'm trying to get okay So that is the length. I just measured out the length of what we need for the bubble, which is the 140 inches. I had more than 140 inches. I just had to confirm the measurement and then cut out the excesses. So I measured from the M right now to the point where I want my slate to get to. And then I mark, okay? So from this point right now where we marked initially on the neckline we're going to run a straight stitch a, a stitch a straight stitch to the point where we want the slit to get to on the middle okay equal middle okay so from the neckline to the point where we want the slit to get to i run a straight stitch not loose stitch so after running this is what we have so i just open it up this way please watch what i'm doing i flip it up this way and then i flip the bottom parts this way okay and then i arranged it to get my color mm. you see we have our neck we have a collar so you can see the neckline the v neckline the collar everything is is on flick it's looking beautiful and properly done so i didn't get to add any interfacing on this so you iron properly so i didn't get to add any interface because it's a lace so whatever interfacing you are adding is going to show because it's not lined. Okay, but thank God that the, the fabric is very, the lace, you know, has a lot of strength, okay? It's thick. It has a lot of thickness. So it really works where the color stood properly. Okay, but if you're using other fabrics like Ankara and the likes, it's endeavor to add an interfacing, okay? So I bring the booboo and then I bring my collar this way, you know, so we located. We're going to locate the midpoint of the collar and then the midpoint of the bubble, which of course we already did before. I just did for the collar right now. So we're going to place collar midpoint to midpoint, right side facing the right side. And then we are just going to sew. Okay. So we're just going to sew from one end, from the center point right now, so one end and then we come back and so from the other center point so the other end okay. so guys hope you've learned a lot from this tutorial hope you've learned a lot please let me know your comments let me know how you feel about this tutorial on the comment section all right do not forget to like share and subscribe it is very 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 important so i continue to attach my collar to my boo boo okay when i get to one end i will come over again and continue from the center back and stitch to the other end so this is the other part of the center back i'm going to stitch to the other end and then you will see the final outcome of course you saw it at the beginning of the video okay
so I keep sewing so attach my collar to my bobo All right, so after attaching the collar, I come to the hem of the bobo and then I fold it up. So you use the number of allowance you left for the bottom part to fold. And then make sure you give it a proper overlocking, okay? And then a proper ironing as well. So after folding, this is what we have. This is actually the inner part of the bobo, okay? And then... This is what we have. This is the outcome of our tutorial. Hey guys, you see that it looks really, really beautiful. Really, really, really beautiful. Alright guys, so we've come to the end of this tutorial. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. So there is a pocket on this um, bubble, which we did not mention, you know, in the course of the tutorial. If you want me to do a video on how to fix a pocket on your shifts, on your cow, bobo please drop a message you know to that effect on the comment section all right so that's the pocket and you see that is looking 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 very very looking beautiful it's not in any way different from the um picture a okay so all right see you guys in our next tutorial bye for now